Hello everyone, Dale over here. Warning, this video will contain pictures from Google that is not mine and also warning, it's going to contain my own personal opinion about Critical Role, new homes and old friends. And I will warn for spoilers heavily. <laughs> um, so if you haven't, if you're not caught up with the show until this episode, stop this video right now and go and watch the first um, episodes until you get to this episode because like this is um, going to spoil you for the um, recent episode that I just watched. I just want to talk about it so bad because like something happened in this um, that I actually predicted and already knew um, but yeah I will get back to that in um, some minutes. Um, first of all, I will see that I'm going to leave a link to the first episode of uh, this uh, Critical Role campaign too. And I'm also going to leave a link to this episode, uh, New Homes and Old Friends. But again, I will recommend that you start out with the first episode if you're caught up and then get, get caught up. Blah to this episode and I know like it's a lot of episodes but um, I think like you will enjoy if you like D&D and you like uh, voice actors um, then I think like this is right up into your alley or how to say that um, but uh, without further ado you were warned uh, I'll warn one more time just because I want to warning spoilers um, for things that I think is going to happen and uh, I will talk a little bit about what happened in this episode so without further ado 3, 2, 1 so yeah <laughs> this episode was really interesting um, I really enjoyed the start of like uh, where Caleb is like making the tower and like where they um, are presented to all these beautiful rooms and uh, cats that are serving food and all of that good stuff. It, it was amazing and I think like all different rooms portrayed their characters uh, really well. Um, Caleb have done a really good job uh, or Liam have done a really good job uh, with uh, presenting the rooms and also like envision these rooms how they would look like and um, what the characters would like that there were in them and stuff like that so um, I in particular liked um, Caduceus room, uh, Bo's room and Yasha's room. Uh, I also liked the other rooms but I think like these three was just like okay this is definitely uh, 100% of what I could imagine the character <laughs> wanting and needing is especially Bo like if with the mirror and stuff like that but it, it's all good and fun like I think like the other rooms was beautiful too and the uh, Jester's room is going to look uh, even more beautiful when she's done like painting in it and stuff like that so I, I do believe like um, that's going to be really good so yeah um, but um, besides that <laughs> of course we had the theories we had the predictions and stuff like that but I will say like I wasn't surprised about the spoiler that I'm going to reveal now and once again I'm going to warn you guys for spoilers um, because I I kind of already knew this when he told us that he uh, one time died that he would come back to life again and I'm um, of course talking here about Molly Mock um, I, I just had a feeling like he was going to come back and I actually think that he's going to be um, the big uh, bad e evil how to say that of the, of the game um, because I think like he is supposed to be a vessel for this um, entity that is in the 
living house or how to say that a uh, god or how to say like i don't know what's in that um i have no clue it sounds scary um but yeah i i will say like i already like since he, he died the first time uh warning <laughs> again spoilers um i already had a a, f a really bad feeling like not because like I really did like Molly Mark a lot, but when he showed the tattoos and he showed like he had eyes um, on his tattoos, almost like Ford had the eyes for Ugatoa, um, I was just like, something is up here and like nine eyes and they're calling themselves the Mighty Nine and all of this with nine going uh, again and again in the how to say that the 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 story is just like it's it was a little bit i will not say predictable but it it became like where i was just like is this scripted or is this actually something that um that was just a coincidence because like normally when i watch the critical role show i have watched all of the episodes stuff um happens where you don't um know anything about it for example like a certain person now i'm trying to not give spoilers away but a certain person also being alive uh missing uh, a leg but just being alive on on an island away from her um yeah child and stuff like that and uh, if you have watched the show up to now, you know who I'm talking about and what I'm talking about. And if you haven't watched it, I'm sorry for giving you um, hints for spoilers. But I want you in the start that this is going to be really spoiler heavy. Um, but I think like this um, with Molly, um, also because like I remember Taliesin at some point said like, oh, I am... Um, I wrote something or I have something about his universe in in the whole uh, story so I was just like is is Matt like going after um, Molly's space story is it all like actually uh, underneath it all going to be a uh, Molly story um, I, I don't know if I believe in that, but I do think like that could be a clever idea. Um, the the nine eyes could also be something completely different, but I believe like the nine eyes is the yeah of course the group that Molly Mug is with or the Mighty Nine. Like I think like they can use nine uh special people for the ritual that i think is going to happen because like when molly was a part of the um yeah tomb raiders or grave robbers what they were called sorry i'm getting a little like uh what's that uh, overly uh ambitious with this but uh when he was part of that um tomb takers that's what they were called um, when he was part of that, like they, I think like they were nine, I am not sure. And like the ritual went wrong and all of that good stuff. Like maybe the ritual was to um, try to get rid of that house, uh, that living um, city or house that's coming to lay waste to everything. Um, I don't know if it's actually a good or bad um thing that's coming it doesn't sound good but uh, imagine like the town is living and breathing because it's filled with like human souls or it's filled like with um spirits from a other realm or it is actually a whole living city um it's just like walking and the ones that are living in the city is um actually doesn't can't do anything about it it's just like uh captured in the city 
Like, I also think, like, actually, Molly Mox, that's uh, Molly Mox, uh, was that origin, so how to say that, is this city. Like, I think, like, that's where he, uh, were born, where he comes from. His whole, uh, meaning with life is to, uh, get this, um, yeah, empty word filled, um, with all of these souls or all of this city <laughs> i i don't know like how that's possible but we have heard before like people being used for rituals and stuff like that like um yasha with um the demon ritual and stuff like that and she's becoming a uh, more and more an angel now but what i think is is going to happen or uh, with this idea that I had about like Molly becoming the uh, evil bad guy I think actually that um, he's going to be evil it's not going to be Molly it's going to be that other guy I forgot his name but like the evil guy that they already killed um, Yasha and stuff like that it, it, I, I think like it all comes together and like he's uh, trying to go there and I, I don't know if he's going to stop the city or he's going to cast down a god to help him or like being um, actually killing the god and the city and absolving all of the power for himself like that could be insane but definitely i think like there's more to this than we think and i think like this is uh, really interesting and all of the things that uh, Bo figured out and all of that good stuff i i think like that's really important too um Something I was a little surprised about was that the, um, where's that, um, Jester's father, oh, t two seconds, uh, well, never mind, <laughs> uh, the gentleman actually already kind of knows about this, like, I don't know if he actually does, um, or maybe he was just, like, uh, being fooled by the people, the nine uh, people here, that the the old ones were um, once upon a time like Molly and the others. So yeah, I I do believe like there's a way to get um, our Molly back, but I think it's going to be really hard um, to do, and I think like. It needs to be something with either Yasha or Caduceus uh, doing something in, in the lines of actually sacrificing themselves to uh, either stop the city or stop uh, Molly for, from becoming like insanely evil and taking all of this power for himself. And I do remember... Um, uh, Taliesin talking about like Molly's god was the moon weaver and she came before the traveler with chains and like tried to drag him into the sky what if like Molly is is actually himself but he's trying to get the um, power from the moon weaver to stop the city and he's actually doing all of this for good and like the mighty nine is going to either mess it up or help um, with this um, ritual or how to say that and actually ascend Molly to godhood or how to like I don't know still how like that would look like and this is only my own personal uh, opinions and theories here that I'm uh, all talking about but I think like there there have to be some form of thing where it they, it looks like what it looks like or how to say that <laughs> without sounding weird but yeah um I know that I'm sounding weird no matter what I do in this but I I do I wasn't um 
I know like it was supposed to be a big surprise that he was alive, but I was just like, <sighs> I already knew like with all of the Taliesin stuff and like uh, it all escalating them to be called the Mighty Nine and all of that. I think like it, it's a little bit too big of a coincidence, but maybe that's just me. But I don't mind it. I think like it was a really an awesome idea, anyways. Um, and then there's of course also Ford and the others. Uh, actually, it could also be Ford because like I think that he still like there's still some of Okatoa's um, presence that is lurking over him because like remember that um, the. If mother said to him, or, or like the mother said to him, at some point that um, that the evil will always be there, and like he uh, will always be um, uh, battling like inner demons or the darkness or how to say that, and I think like he might be um, one of the keys. If not Molly, like I think like they could use Ford or Yasha, maybe even Caleb here um, because of all of the power uh, that he has and stuff like that. So, but I think like it could be really interesting to see um, Molly and the uh, Caduceus together. <laughs> I actually drew this a while ago um, because like uh, he was voice acting uh, both characters and I thought like, it could be funny if they um, actually um, met each other uh, in the game. So yeah, that that's uh, one of the insane things about like uh, this. Um, I don't know if they would actually be friends. I I think so, but who knows? Like if he is the big bad evil, as I said, um, I don't think like there's any chance for the other ones to get him back. Um, it would be really hard for Yasha to actually be the one to um, do this, but I think like it have to be her. Um, I'm placing my bets on it being like that. I know like that's going to be really really sad, and it's going to be like um, a little like oh that's too much. But I think like that's where the story is going. That or they're going to be like. Uh, really in trouble with this uh, wandering living house or city or what it was um, like I, I think like this entity is a, a god itself or something even bigger so yeah um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um, if there's anything and again, I'm sorry if there's any spoilers um, that you didn't want to hear, but that's just the way it is. Um, I I don't know like if I'm going to come back with more of these videos. I really like uh, watching Critical Role and I'll continue watching Critical Role. I cannot recommend enough to go and start on like episode one if you like. Um, again uh role playing and you like voice actors and you like to i guess you're just wanting to have something to um waste your time on here in these times like i think like this is one of the better series that i i actually have started on and watched um i know like there's campaign one too but i think like campaign to here with the Mighty Nine is the better ones of those two with like better uh, animation and better story and stuff like that. And even if it is um, maybe a little off a script, I don't know. I still think like it's amazing. I think like they're doing a awesome job and like I wouldn't change uh, anything about this. And I, I hope like I actually hope that I'm wrong so I can be surprised in the end uh, about my predictions because like I really like Yasha and I really like Ford and uh, 
uh, Caleb, so I would hate uh, to see one of those three actually, um, yeah, sacrificing themselves to save Molly. But um, yeah, that's actually all that I have to say. Uh, do remember that inspiration is right around the corner. Do remember to take care of yourself and loved ones. And that's all. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye.